Computers keep changing the world, but their power and safety is limited by their rigid design. The T2 Tile project works for bigger and safer computing using Living Systems principles. Follow our progress here on T Tuesday Updates. This is the 29th T Tuesday update. Let's get into it. So busy week, I put together a video. Let's take a look. So this was last Friday, 4 1919. We've now got five finished boxes of cases, 180 cases total, which seems like plenty at the moment. And I switched over to printing PD tabs, the handles for the intertile connectors, the ones that carry both P power and D data between the T2 tiles. We need like 500 of these things. A sheet of 18 takes about 14 hours. Around noon, I got an email from Robert at ETS. The fresh solder paste hadn't arrived, but they could use some older stuff, and did I want to do that? And eventually the answer was, let's give it a try. I'm heading over to ETS to watch uh, um, the first tiles come off of the manufacturing machinery. So that's pretty exciting. When I took pictures at ETS the first time I was trying to focus on the machines and not invade people's space. But that's pretty hard with video and sound so I wasn't really sure how this whole thing was going to go. But it turned out Robert the owner and Pat the tech guy were super cool and they put up with all those stupid questions starting with the solder paste printer. Stent the, what, what's this called? The solder paste solder machine? Paste printer. Okay, does it have a particular like model number or something? That's uh, a deck. I have to look back <laughs> do, do we know what it's called? It's already, it's already done. You already yeah, did it? it's just relatively just, like, uh, uh, And does it squeeze out more? What is it? You just put it kind of a... You put it down yourself? Yeah, about a good amount. And does it do it like back and forth or just exactly. always forward? Yeah, it forward It, it takes the same glob of goo and pushes it back the next Correct. way. Right. Oh, that's cool. Right. Uh -oh. it's Deck Horizon 2. Deck Horizon 2. You All right. know that. <laughs> and, and so it's already done, so now what happens? Yeah, I just making sure that we got a good enough lining on it so that uh -huh. we can get solder bridging. And then it just sucks it in. Whoa! <laughs> 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 tools back there is that's what it was doing right changing right. little pickers the nozzles yeah I different see. sizes of parts wow man that's like four hours when i do that wow well, yeah <laughs> <laughs> if it works at all oh, oh beautiful uh -uh. And then we... that's the end result. oh we got a done one Jeez. how long does it take to go through this thing well i'd say about close to four minutes uh-huh yeah uh -uh. Oh, I was wondering about that. So, yeah, so C4. Then we, uh, halfway is paid. And the, and the, uh, switches. Correct. Yeah. yeah. After oh. we wash, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Maxing out at 260. And since it's lead free um, solder paste, we actually kick the belt speed down to 35. Usually it's about 70. So, it's about so we get a little more time in each zone. Correct. Uh -huh. Correct. Like the last two zones are the pool. So and the, and that, that's just supposed to be room temperature or Correct. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, bringing it back down. So uh -huh. yeah. right. was, they're still a little high as they come out. But right. But they're not cool. Wow, okay, all right, I get it. I was wondering whether these gigantic things fit in the same mechanism, so there's a whole special gizmo yeah, to hold uh, the big things. 12 millimeter feeder, 16 millimeter feeder, and then 
Uh huh, and that, they seem to be sort of the most common. Yeah. Uh, uh, for a little bit, because parts are so damn small. Yeah. Uh, uh, like that. And this one over here, four too. It, I can't even see. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, it'll do 0201s here. Yeah, I think there are 0201s. Oh, shit. That's special nozzle for like, And, and so, so that there would be a, some super tiny nozzle yeah. over there. Uh, um, and that's just vacuum yeah. that is it's sucking up. Yeah. And so, like the switches, for example, there's really no good way to grab them. Uh, we could um, place them, but we wash the boards. We don't want water getting inside. The oh, switch. oh, I get it. Uh, so, so oh, all right. Uh, uh, like that. And, and the, the, the big electrolytic cap. Uh, that, uh, that he was placing. That our Peter wouldn't take it for some reason. It just wouldn't fit good. Uh, yeah. uh, so there's a, one little extra yeah. step. Uh -huh, like that. Oh, uh, well, that's very cool. This, they need a little touch up afterwards. Uh huh. So then you, you take a look at each one with the magnifier yeah, and well, just look for scroll. bridges or yeah, whatever, exactly. that kind of thing. Uh huh. Well, this is super. So it's, it's not worth the while to try to actually mechanically connect these things up so they can zip could, through. But I like but, to take a look at them. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, they, make, they make auto inspection systems. Of course. It's all a matter of uh, time and money and volume. Yeah. When we first power it up, we clean all the nozzles because they have a tendency to stick. Just, just from just or really what sure the heck gets in there? You know? yeah. <laughs> I mean, any the paste machine. It's, I can imagine cleaning that is a that's thing. That's the Achilles heel of this machine. Is the nozzles? Uh -uh. So the you newer ones have pockets. These don't really have pockets. They seat. Uh, I don't. I don't get it. You need pockets to connect to the machine, or no? They have a pocket for the. You mean the tray that they go into? Yeah, it's a pocket that sits in. I see. So uh -huh. There's no resistance there at all. It's I get it. These have a little ring around it, and it tends to stick. Oh, it plate. just mechanically grabs yeah. a little bit, and, and yeah. so that and means it doesn't get seated exactly it won't on. Or it not, the head won't pick it up. Oh, it'll just miss. Yeah. <laughs> it'll stay in this. I get it. I get it. And it'll figure that out. Oh yeah, it But stops. then it stops, and you got to deal with it. Right. I get it. Uh -huh. So our solution is just clean it every time we use it. Uh huh. Are we uh -huh. good to go, Pat? Yep. Yeah, we're just sitting here blabbing, wasting time. Uh -huh. no <laughs> so, so that other guy must have come out the other end by now, yeah. about right? Uh -huh. yeah, and, oh, so there. So that's just gotten there. It would have fallen all the way down here. Right, it would come in here uh -huh. and slide in here. All right, so this is the exact guy that we saw before. This is no uh, Hollywood magic. It's the same damn guy coming <laughs> out the other end. <laughs> No special effect. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you just stack them up here to be looked at? Can I do it? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Might be a little hot still. So. No, nah, not too bad. Actually, it is a little hot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put it the wrong way up. Um, no. Uh, uh, oh, that's very cool. And we're debating it still, but I might be removing the bridges here in this portion too. You mean just taking a look at them? Um, setting, I'll probably possibly set up a lead free station for them. Kind of get out the uh, the solder bridges because that's something that you're gonna see with some frequency. Um, I'm hoping not, but you never know how tight you're set up. Yeah, oh, that uh, calibration on that screen is pretty spot on, so uh -huh. chances I mean, are we won't have to. You know, I mean, basically, when I was hand screening these things, oh, you yeah, know, uh, you know, I got a hand screener over there. Well, he shows last time, yeah, he had this thing, yeah, but, but that even that. Miles better than what I was oh. doing with tapped on tape on the kitchen Just table. Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where we were too. Uh, all right. So the point is, you're going to check these, just looking for bridges, absolutely, and touch them up, absolutely, whatever it is, before they get the flux washed off and so on. And right. So forth. Yeah. Ooh, that's the potential. Yeah. What's happening is that leader checks. Oh, it looks like it, it, that that's right at the beginning. That is the opening yeah. leader stuff still there. Mm -hmm. These guys are good to go, you can tell. Once they pass the yeah. roller. That or, uh, I see. Oh, yeah. And if we were making millions of these, we would just advance it and throw it, we'll get a whole reel. Yeah. Uh-huh, like that.
Uh, yeah, I'm glad you had them spliced because that takes a long time. Well, they were, the Arrow. Do you, do you know Arrow? Do you oh, get yeah. parts of Arrow? Uh, oh, well, they've been having these ridiculous get my business sales oh, really? that compared to Mouser and DigiKey, and one of them was free reels with Lear. Oh, okay. uh, like that. So I, uh, the ones that I could get there, not all of them I could. I mean, like this is Mouser and so forth. No, that's good. Uh, that was great. I got a bunch of them that uh, for Mouser it was seven dollars a pop. Right. To get the reel with the leader. Uh, we can do that here. Well, given uh, the pause file thing didn't yeah. work, I was happy to save <laughs> you a time any way I could. Uh, um, and yeah, I thought for sure I could add an offset to it. I, uh, there's got to be some subtract from a hundred or multiply by minus one or something. But when it didn't work out. On the second fiducial, you say good. screw it. Yeah. Uh, um, So it missed a little bit? Yep. Over here, you can see here, the paste is... Uh, Just getting a little thin. Yeah, I get it. So you can miss some. So we'll do whatever we can do, and then I guess it's just going to tie up your machine until next week. Mm -hmm. And we can wash that one off yeah. and cycle it around. Yep. So you got a good little bead. Good bead, yeah. So it really cranks pretty well. Yeah. Except for the handling time and whatnot. Labor is going to be, the real labor is going to be. Yeah, uh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. I feel your pain. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out a different way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, what they did was uh, they put plastic yeah. leader on a. On a, on a oh, and it's just different. Yeah. So we never expected to have an edge. It's just a thin leader. Right. Mm -hmm. We haven't actually seen this problem before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually we have the opportunity to splice ourselves. Well, I would be happy to have given you that, but like I said, it was well, a special free time. sale. Well, we'll see whether it saves time when we get all done. We had some really old machines. Pat used to love to realign all the parts. <laughs> love? Yeah, uh huh, that, that's the word he would use, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Connect to other boards, board right. to board, that's the way it works and then you go as far as you want. So I don't know what the hell is going to happen when I have 150 boards oh, all connected okay. to each other. There's a whole other order of stuff that could happen. There might be. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, um, yeah exactly. Uh, uh, there's no long cables for the ground to get out of whack. It's just going one little step and then getting used there and so on. So we'll see. I'm hoping for the best. It's the more is different theory. I'm helping. Oh, nice. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> 36 seconds. Jeez. Jeez.
Once it gets yeah. once it gets rocking. Yeah. So that when it was checking the three fiducials, it was a two G G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, so this is like for me, this is like the 3D print. Where all the smarts are separate and it just says go to XY. Um, it have a lot of well, I mean with the cameras. Yeah. I mean I I wish 3D printers had cameras. So they could see that they were skewing the shit all over the floor, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, you come back ten hours later and you have this hairball. Uh, um. They will, eventually. All this stuff is going to get cheaper and cheaper and there's going to be AI and everything to look at the, what, what it's doing and see how well it's working. to try to play with and see if we can establish a benchmark world record for average event rate. I don't know, I'm really scared to even think there might be one air, one event per site per second. But we'll see, there might be. Uh, oh, gotta get back to work. Here comes another one. Uh, uh -huh. I've been working for Bob for 12 years. So that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. It keeps me here. So. Uh -huh. so when you say working on these, yeah, we got these ones. I believe three years ago or four years ago. Uh huh. Before that, we had some Phillips, a pair of Phillips. Okay, you were just talking about. Them. Yeah, and they the were with them. Right, they were. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were the most interesting machine ever. Uh huh. Very cool. Say again. Well, but it's always going to be sort of research level, uh, uh, like that. We're going to build this. You know, maybe we'll do another round. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but then we're going to redesign and, and hopefully do much smarter stuff than people who know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, uh, like that. This is trying to kickstart a new area of computer research. So that's why I'm kind of just doing it all because everybody thinks I'm crazy. Yeah, they might be right. Yeah, we'll find well, out. Crazy too, exactly. And he kind of probably was, but I didn't mean to have some good ideas. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. So we'll see. Once everything was dialed in, the board started coming out fast. By the time I left, the paste was gone and the surface mount parts were soldered onto something like 40 T2 tiles. Quite a day. Although when I got home, I realized I hate being right about 3D printers. So that happened. <laughs> uh, thanks again to Robert and to Pat. That was really great, and it you know it was just really exciting for me to actually you know see this happening. Uh, there was a bunch of other stuff that happened this week as well. Uh, we actually have some progress with the, getting the ITC intertile connectors manufactured. Uh, I'm going to push that off. Talk about it next time. Uh, uh, it feels like we're hitting the rapids here, at least for a little while. Uh, stuff's kind of piling in quick. It's exciting. Uh, uh, I hope to see you next week. Have a good week.